Hello everyone, Shan Heron at the Easiest Swing. Thanks for joining me for today's video and you're in for a real treat today, I promise you. Uh, it's an old tip from Harry Varden, way back in the 1930s. Now, Harry Varden suggested that we try gripping the club with the forefinger and the thumb of each hand only, only that, no other part of the hand, just the forefinger and the thumb. So no other part of the hand, no other finger is active, is engaged with the club. Just that. Yeah. Now, of course, when you're gripping only with the forefinger and thumb, it might be tempting to get all tight on it. I suggest you just explore your most relaxed swing. Don't be afraid to move, don't be afraid to move the head, don't be afraid to sway. Great to start, of course, with the swing caddy, just to get into the swing of it. Um, blend it up with a bit of la dance, consolidating the footwork that you want, the turn that you want and then just gripping with the forefinger and the thumb and just just allowing yourself to let go of control folks because you won't believe it the ball just wants to go straight all the time it's really quite incredible um, I'm still exploring it a lot myself and uh, I'm just getting so many insights every day new insights but for example I think it just relaxes the whole the whole rest of the body so my body my my intuitive shan the intuitive part of me just just knows how to move I'm just so relaxed that um, that it feels that the feet move automatically the right way And when the feet move well, the, uh, the arms and the hands aren't fighting for, for position. So, swing caddy, yeah, nice and in the forefinger and thumb, as light as you can. Don't be afraid to move around. You could even do a few swinging legs. Let yourself lose, lose control, folks, because the ball just will go straight. Okay, let's. I, I just love to hit soft lob wedge shots with this exercise to begin with and then go through the bag. My only concern is holding it that way. Everything else just wants to fall into place. Just look at, look at, look at, look at this backswing. Look at that backswing. That's me not even consciously thinking about it. So, lovely soft lob shots. I'll go even slower on this one. And my focus, my attention is just making sure I'm gripping only with the forefinger and the thumb. And then everything else just wants to just wants to do its thing. See if I can go really soft on this one. And I'll do that again because I just love those soft lob shots. They teach me about so much about movement. Okay, now let's try with an eight iron. Might want to try the non-static setup, just keeping keeping the movement going with the two finger, two forefinger, two thumb grip. Wow. 
holding your finish till the ball lands. You know this this is so good that I don't even have to go static on the address position. It just gets everything moving perfectly. But always like to play around and explore. Just beautiful. So I'm going to move the camera around for my last few shots just so you get the face on view. Little five iron. Straight. Straight. Three wood. And just for a little play, why not? Why not mix it all up? Forefinger and thumb. Straight down the middle. Forefinger and thumb. Beautiful. Forefinger and thumb. Just a peach right down the middle. And again, straight down the middle, you know. Well, this is the Harry Varden grip, right? This is the interlock. Um, well, I would like to call this the other hard, the the other Varden grip because this is just tremendous folks just absolutely tremendous so encourage you to try it try it on the range and um, see how you get on looking forward to your comments oh, I really hope it works as well I'm very confident it'll work as well for you as it as it is doing for me thanks for joining me until the next time bye for now